I'm Joe Giulio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, April the 16th. A tough day yesterday for the Rucker Scarlet Knights football program. No, no game was played, but in a way, a loss occurred for Rutgers yesterday afternoon around 3 p.m. Jarek Arantano, the great young quarterback at Bergen Catholic class of 2016, had Rutgers in his final three schools down to a decision day to make a choice, not quite sign, that's next year, but to make a choice on which school he will attend after graduating Bergen Catholic. Earlier on the day Wednesday, we found out, we found out Ohio State, one of the final three along with Rutgers, had signed a top quarterback for the 2016 class, maybe you know taking a spot away. Then it just came down to Rutgers and Tennessee for the Bergen Catholic star. And as we know now, and as we saw during the press conference live streamed on NJ.com, the choice for Gary Tano came to Tennessee, to Knoxville, Tennessee, to go to the SEC, a school that used to be a power there, has struggled recently. Nonetheless, Rutgers does not land a quarterback recruit, a very high-caliber quarterback recruit that they wanted. And this, to me, is more about perception than true reality for the Rutgers program moving forward here. Now, the loss of Gary Tano does not guarantee Rutgers won't win football games. It doesn't guarantee whoever they get in his place or whoever plays quarterback instead of him won't be as productive. That's our assumption right now. It's not quite the reality. But what it does do, and this doesn't help the program, and this is why it's a tough day for Rutgers, it furthers the perception that head coach Kyle Flood and this Rutgers University staff here cannot recruit at a very, very high caliber level. They can get good players, but can they get potentially great players? And as soon as the word went down, as soon as the details came out, and as soon as you all watched it on NJ.com, the reaction started pouring in. And it echoed this point. There are fears among the fan base about Kyle Flood's ability to recruit and keep the best New Jersey players in New Jersey. This one will sting for a while because until Rutgers does back this up by signing the next Jarek Aritano, we don't know when it's going to happen. And we don't know if it's going to happen. If Rutgers is going to become a great college football program, not pretty good, but great, they need to keep the best players in state in this state and not allow them to go to the other schools in the Big Ten like Ohio State or Penn State or Michigan or now schools in the SEC like here with this Bergen Catholic quarterback to Tennessee. Reaction, you know, this one from our Your Comments post yesterday where we brought in some of your best comments on this entire situation. We heard Flood's got to close the deal and deliver a top class. Seems like he made all the right moves here, but the results count in this business. I really like Kyle as a coach, but we can't squander opportunities and talent any longer. Keeping kids home in a small state will always be a challenge. Some just have to go away while others want to play in front of family and friends. But we got to keep seven to eight of these kids per year at RU. I will say one thing about Flood. He really needs to step it up and land one of these top recruits soon. That's the perception right now. The perception among the Rutgers fan base, among the most, most vocal of you, that use NJ.com and comment on NJ.com and hang out with us to talk Rutgers all the time, the most vocal have worries, have fears about Kyle Flood's ability to keep kids like this in state. So as we move forward here and you project what this kid will do and will watch his career from afar and you'll probably see him on TV sooner than later in a big time game in the SEC for Tennessee. It's not so much about Jarek Aritano. It's not. It's not about this one player. It's about, in general, keeping players like this, keeping the stars from Bergen Catholic or Don Bosco away from leaving, away from different schools and bringing them to Rutgers. Until this school has the ability to land three or four or five of these kids in a row, the perception won't change. And as we know, with fans, with sports, and with recruiting, perception, of course, can be reality. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.